I just adore making fucking music videos. It's like the the highest joy that I ever receive nine times out of 10 other than like watching my fucking children grow is making music videos. Uh, I'm Jeremy Pape. I make videos uh, of all kinds, I guess, and uh, mostly just try and like get as much joy out of life as I can. That's like the goal. The making videos is kind of the vehicle. This year I've been just like trying to carry the upswing of like getting out of COVID and all that stuff and really getting active again. Um, so it's been cool to be able to like get out in the streets, make more videos again, edit real footage. So just been trapping that out and working with some cool labels in, in uh, Nashville. Uh, shout out to Command Shift and just trying to put on Denver as much as I can. Well, you know, take care of the fam. I've been like totally, or I got into filmmaking like totally on accident. My de So my degree is in web development. So I have a uh, bachelor's in fine arts and I was doing, I was building websites for Denver public schools and I had access to a camera and one of my dear closest friends in the whole wide world, Turner Jackson, was making music at the time and we just made a music video just on a humbug um, and it turned out super good or at the time you know it was my first video and then the second video I did was for Gucci Man, and so it was just like oh this is super fun I like the adventure that video allows me to have I like hearing other people's stories and being able to show the world like how all these beautiful people are living and so once I did that whole Atlanta trip with Gucci Man, it was just like, oh, uh, let's just do this until the wheels fall off. And now it's like 10 years later, I'm like, fuck, I guess we're still going. <laughs> yeah. The wheels are still there. Still here, yeah, man. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, awesome. yeah, I'm the old fart still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, I think it just depends really just on like the, the crew one and like the subject matter, because commercials are super fun when you have like a crew that's really passionate and specialized, uh, cause you have a budget for that, right? So that, then you have like, I can just be a director and then just have like a budget for like lighting, sound, all that shit. And we can just like do some really cool shit. I just adore making fucking music videos. It's like the, the highest joy that I ever received nine times out of 10, other than like watching my fucking children grow is making music videos. Cause it's, it's like having a baby with somebody in that like artist fashion, right? Where you, you and this person are so passionate about this project and this thing and this concept, and this idea. And then all of a sudden you put in all this work, time, effort, and, and then all of a sudden you get to build this beautiful thing, you know? So that's like kind of a special experience that I, that I think is like one of a kind. Easily, like me and AP just have like this like chemistry that's so great. He like reins me in a little bit when I get too wild and I feel like I like am able to push him out of his comfort zone. So I like he and I just have this beautiful relationship and we've been doing it for so long now that like it's just it, it's just like second nature for us. So that's he's one of my favorites. Um, Lance Leno is another one of my favorite artists right now that he and I just like, our families are intertwined, our life, just like our priorities and our values are intertwined. And to me, that makes for really great art as well, because we're like both leaning in on trying to share the same message and the same story and trying to ex kind of we're artistically trying to express these same discomforts or, or maybe just like qualms of the world, you know, like issues that we have with the world, things that we want to just like, you know, cause what I think is important about art is that when you're making this, sh this shit, of course you're going to get the rah, rah, rah music videos. And those are fun too. But I like to at least try and like say a little bit of something about my music videos, whether it's like the duality of oneself. Uh, yeah. So Lance and I have this video called good smoke, which is like kind of a sweet smoking song, but it's also, talking about like our vices, right? And like how those control us and affect us, you know? So I'm trying to always like slip in like a little 
bit of like self-reflection, at least with things that are, are important to me in my videos as well. Yeah, and it doesn't, it, the story doesn't have to be overly complex or it doesn't have to be a literal story, but it can be a, um, a thread or an emotion or a feeling that you're like, oh man, like like the Good Smoke video where he's like, oh, he's, he's like smoking this joint, so great, so cool, but then all of these things happen along with that. And what does that look like, you know? So sometimes it's, with music videos, it's cool because you can take like little teeny ideas and then kind of like work off like, deeply what does this feel to me or how does this affect me on my day to day and what can I do to share these feelings with others you know what I mean so crucifix out of Georgia um one of my dearest friends but uh an incredible artist and he and I think so similarly it's crazy and so just being able to build build with him and um develop our working relationship along with our personal relationship to me that's like the most important thing is like do our stories align? We don't have to be from the same place. We don't have to be from the same, we don't even have to hold the same values, but are we looking towards the same goals and are, are we trying to share the same message? And he's one of those guys that I'm like, man, you're like a one in a million person that I got to like run into by the grace of God. And it's like, let's tell these stories because uh, it's just important. It's fucking important, I That's think. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah feeling, cool. feelings. Yeah, yeah, right, and sometimes that doesn't happen, right? Sometimes you make a video and you're like, whoop, I uh, missed the mark on that one. <laughs> I, I, biggest thing for me, I think, is like finding my rhythm again and like getting out of, we had to be in like the social media space for a little bit with, with COVID and everything, and now we're back outside. So like I'm offline and I'm just in real life, and that has like boosted my creativity like, tenfold i'm so thankful that just like i didn't realize how important it was to just like meet people in real life and really share those energies that's so important um so more heat from me on the music video tip just a lot more creative stuff i think is like where i want to like anchor my energy this year and then maybe identifying a need in the town um because i plan on living in colorado you know until they bury me at I don't like any other states to live. <laughs> you know, we got Banana Clip and all that you guys are doing amongst a ton of other places, you know, and the culmination of all that talent, all that energy and all that intention, I think is really important. Um, intention probably being the most important and seeing where our city is kind of wiggling. It's really exciting and I'm just happy to be, you know, a fucking you know, a little speck in the beautiful explosion.